this is Drunken Otaku here, and we're back with more Monogatari with Monogatari Second Season Episode 25, or Koei Monogatari Episode 5. Getting close to the wire in this one. Man, this has been a fun arc. I'm really looking forward to finding out what was in the closet. I had uh, someone ask me uh, either earlier today or yesterday what I thought was in there, and I have literally no idea. You know, um, my first instinct was something like a, uh, a love altar or something like that, but, you know, uh, that doesn't make any sense. You know, um, that wouldn't shock him. You know, um, then I was thinking maybe drugs or alcohol or something like that, but that wouldn't shock him either, and frankly, the show doesn't have those themes in it, so far, at least. So I think it's going to be something else. Something that's going to be, uh, seem out of left field, and definitely out of left field for Kaiki's perspective, enough to shock him, but I think we as the viewers who have seen her through several arcs will be able to go back and be like, oh, that makes sense, once everything's revealed. And I think it's going to have something that has an impact upon her personality in some way, and hopefully something Kaiki can use that'll help resolve this arc. And I, it probably will be central to this arc in some way because, you know, they made it such a big deal of it all the way back in Lisa Monogatari, you know, with the locking of the door. And it's probably something embarrassing for her. Because, you know, she was so adamant about our Aragi not looking in there. And they had the scene where she was just locking and locking and locking and locking. You know, and at first she was thinking, oh, it's just a private clothes or something like that in that scene, but... You know, uh, you know, there's just something in there, something important is in there for her. All right, so we're going to start this off here in three, two, one. Sorry about my rant earlier. You know, I, I'm not too elegant when I'm speaking unless I have something written down in front of me. Okay. All right. And the damage that resulted from it. That shot, man. These shots are all fantastic. Mm. Yep, episode. It's really one huge mess. Was what through this town of spiritual chaos? Okay. All right, gotcha. So he refused. Okay. Yeah, she's not innocent. <laughs> or certainly not my impressions of her. Someone was snubbed. I was the one getting snubbed. Myself and everyone else. Oh, really? Okay. I don't remember that, but I'll have to go back and watch it. Yeah, I got that feeling too.
seems very happy right now. True. After I deceive her, you can save her. <laughs> Nothing is going to be rude. But Oogie, yep. Yep, thought so. Yes, yes there is. <laughs> I kept it a secret. It's something so insignificant that it won't do any good. Okay. All right, all right. Such an insignificant thing. All right, guess it's... Then again, it might seem insignificant, but not be. I'm going to dance. I don't care. It's tagging in part five. Hmm. I spent lackluster days, right? Did nothing but commute to northern. Sh yeah. <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> it was a shrine visit, but I played with her. <laughs> God. Hmm. 
Yeah. Mm hmm. All right. Interesting. It's the day of the plan. Okay. Yeah. It was rather fun. Quit with the bad jokes. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, they are. <laughs> okay, fair enough. The part that isn't you. Because he's already been. I'll brush that side. <laughs> He's very confident. Mm -hmm.
<laughs> I plan on paying them. Never once lied to me. That was interesting. Peace, peace. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> I have been hoping for it. I'm just going to go visit the double voice place. He's going to pamper me. <laughs> it's all red and mysterious. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's cool, the background keeps changing. relationship. But I don't feel like fixing it. Hmm. He crushed the cult? Okay. Okay. Huh. Was framed into. You chose the crusher for her, right? about your well-being, your body and soul. Unfitting for him again. You drove to the point where they had to get a divorce. That was the only option left, right? Unless you cut the mothers out, the only daughter who no longer had a future. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, you were. <laughs> Holy shit.
going to continue doing my best. I'm getting goosebumps at the scene right here. You always fail. You have. I think gain some sync that way. That's all I can tell you. The image hasn't changed to this day. The mother crumbled, but the daughter didn't crumble. Why does it feel like he's walking to his death right now, man? Oh. She took the bait. That's why that wish won't come true. Because you kept talking about such a wish. You can no longer grant that wish. Uh, she saw right through it. Fuck. Fuck. This scene, this episode was fantastic. I mean, that reveal when they were sitting down and talking was fantastic. That whole scene just gave me goosebumps, you know. Even before they had the reveal, this, uh, this the way they were phrasing it, that music and everything was just perfect. And then, God, he was walking to the shrine. I don't know, man. Like, it felt like he was, I don't know. It felt like the long mile.
and it didn't work. I I hope he pulls through, uh, pulls this out of his ass. I really do. It's like she was expecting it, though. I think she's been playing him. At least a little bit. All right, let's see the Fire Sisters. Itagi in part six. <laughs> now I've got to say though, um, I was on Reddit, you know, um, you know, uh, looking at like the old discussion from like one of the previous rewatches of the series, and um, I saw someone had translated the pictures, posted the pictures of uh, Inkaki's notebook he drew out. I love his drawings, man. They're fantastic. And he's like putting everything in an importance order. It was great. It was great. Man. Last episode. Yeah, I'm going to watch it tonight. Last episode. I'm going to start it up here in just a few minutes. But, uh, yeah, this is Drunken Otaku. I'm heading out. I will talk to you all later.